Hi, welcome to another Derek Does. Today, we're doing this. So today we're gonna talk about this. This is my brand new arrow leather clothing, what they call the original Hercules jacket. You can find this on their website. It's for sale, they're customized. You can get it any way you want it. Uh, I particularly got this one because they were having a sale. Uh, they were having a sale. They're having their 40th anniversary of the Highwayman jacket, which is a jacket that uh, Ken Calder had uh, invented, I guess, of uh, using various jackets from that the time period of the 40s and 50s and that sort of thing. And he came up with it, and they've been selling it ever since. It's one of their big sellers. I personally had one of those myself uh, probably 20 years ago and uh, eventually sold it. Uh, just because I had moved on to a different type of jacket, but they're having a huge sale. Uh, I think today that I'm recording this is the last day of the sale. And I got myself a jacket, which is this one, uh, my son a jacket, and I got him that pair of 37 LVCs that I did the video on last time. Got that all at Arrow. But I thought I'd show you this jacket that I actually got for myself. I got this jacket. This is actually uh, what they call the original Hercules, and it's based off of a 1930, it's actually not based, it's actually pretty much copied off of a 1935 Sears Hercules jacket. So the jacket I'm wearing, it is in horse hide. It's their jerky horse hide. So it's a thinner horse hide. It's more closer probably to the A2s, which I actually kind of like, as opposed to the uh, front quarter uh, heavy chromed horse hide uh, that I've had in a lot of the jackets from Arrow. I've bought a lot of jackets over the years. And uh, those jackets, they just take forever to break in because they're so stiff. But once they do, they're fantastic. Highly recommend them. But if you want a jacket that you can kind of just wear and you can actually bend the arms right away, I, you know what I mean if you've had one of those jackets. Um, having it in this uh, uh, seal horse hide uh, jerky is great. Now, I think this is a chrome tan instead of a vegetable tan uh, because it's uh, what they use for their A2s. Um, anyway, uh, so it's in a horse hide. Uh, it's based off, again, the 1935, which actually Sears, I think, sold them probably much, probably didn't change the look for probably 10 years, probably from 35 to 45 in that range or before, somewhere in that range. Uh, this one's in uh, the seal brown. Uh, Ideally, I'd rather have it in the russet just because I like lighter brown jackets, I think, but I couldn't turn this one down. The, 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 the sale was going on and the price was just right and it was my size. Uh, this is actually what they call the trainee jacket uh, or apprentice jacket. They have uh, apprentices, trainee sewers that have to learn how to sew because it's difficult to make a jacket, a leather jacket. You have to know what to do and there's processes and all that stuff. So they make it and but they sell it cheaper uh, than you would if you actually had custom ordered it and they would give it to their main sewers that have more years of experience in sewing it. Um, I'll show you the back so you can see that. And then I'll go over the details. I'll take it off and I'll show you the kind of the details of the jacket. Uh, as you can see, it's a really nice jacket. It has a lot of the features I like. Uh, it does have hand warmers, uh, which are nice, and they're moleskin lined. Uh, and also the sleeves are moleskin lined. And then the cuffs, and I'll show you this in close up, is corduroy. So that uh, it's a work jacket. So, you know, you won't wear away the lining as easy if this was just like a drill or something like that. And then also it's corduroy underneath the collar which probably just saved money, I would assume. I think that's probably the reasoning of that. I don't know why. Maybe maybe for warmth, if it's cold, you can pull it up like that, but the corduroy's not on your neck, and I'm assuming they just wanted to save a little bit of money on the leather, so they would put corduroy because it's a little cheaper. And then also has a throat latch, and then also has the uh, hookless uh, zipper, and I'll show you that. It's a different type of zipper. It's actually the zipper that came out first but it's an early zipper, it's all metal, which I actually kind of wanted uh, because I haven't had a, a new jacket with that. I've had vintage jackets with it, but not a new jacket. And uh, I believe a lot of Japanese, there's a couple of Japanese places that are reproducing these original zippers because of the demand is up there. But uh, enough of me jabbering, I'm gonna show you some details of this fantastic jacket. So here's the jacket. I'll try to hold it up as best I can. 
can kind of see the grain. It's that jerky, and they call it jerky, meaning that the leather isn't all smooth. It's got some nice grain on it, and that's what I love, is when you're gonna see this grain start popping out once you start wearing it. I'll show you all the details of the jacket in case you wanna get yourself one. Um, as you can see, this one actually does say it's a trainee made, so it doesn't have the normal arrow leather uh, label on it, but I don't care if it's trainee made uh, because in the factory they probably had trainees sewing jackets too way back in the day. Uh, but you can see it's a front quarter horsehide and it's a size 42. So here you can see the, uh, the hand warmers. Everything's triple stitch, which is really nice. Uh, here's the throat latch I was telling you about and it has its own button. Here you can tell the uh, corduroyed under the collar and then also the corduroy lined cuffs. Not lined, but the cuffs are lined. The sleeve is lined with moleskin and then has a really nice feature. It has the um, adjustable buttoned cuff, which is a kind of a feature of older jackets. They don't really do this much today. Now, the zipper I was telling you about is an all-metal zipper, and uh, one thing I really like about there's no tape to tear on a uh, modern zipper. Here you can see it's actually riveted to the leather, so this brass is actually riveted in there, and then on this side, you can see, oh, moved on me, but you can see it's also riveted and then has the hookless reproduction zipper and so basically the works just like a regular zipper this slides in and then zips up just like a normal one it's just the uh, the big difference is there's no plastic tape or fabric tape at the bottom the tear uh, so I think overall this zipper will last much longer than a modern zipper not obviously a plastic zipper because those are kind of self repairing but uh, you know what I mean. Uh, here you can see kind of the grain. It's really gonna have some nice popping in, in certain areas. I wouldn't mind it being even worse, but that's just me. Uh, so now let's take a look at the back. So here's the back. As you can see, it's uh, got some really nice features. It has this kind of almost, not really Western, but kind of a Western yoke. Uh, three seams uh, or three panels uh, triple triple stitched you can see uh, vented armholes I'm not sure if the original Hercules was a uh, grommet or if it was sewn with an eyelet uh, if you guys know let me know um, if you have an original and then it has two bottom uh, side waist cinches which are lower instead of up here they're down here as you can see it's got a couple, couple flaws in the leather, which I love. And then uh, some places uh, has some really nice grain popping in. Uh, it's gonna look really great once I start wearing it. It's just been, it's kind of hot right now, so I haven't really had a good chance to uh, break it in, but I will. Again, I'll show you that corduroy. It goes all the way around. And then on the inside, it has the, uh, just kind of a green, I think it's a cotton drill. I'll double check. No inside pockets or anything like that. Now, if you ordered this custom made, you could actually get it, you know, with extra sleeve length or this or that, or you could have an inside pocket made on it, or you could have, you could even have a chest pocket put into, it, I guess, if you really wanted. Uh, they would do that for you because that's what Arrow does. They'll customize your jacket. This will be like a base jacket and they'll work with it. But since this is a basically a reproduction of the 1935 uh, Sears Hercules, I wouldn't mess with it. I would like to keep it all as an original reproduction. But you can see it's really nice. I like this jacket a lot and I'm really looking forward to breaking it in. The original Hercules from Aero Leather in Scotland. Highly recommend Aero Leather if you're looking for a leather jacket. 
Uh, they also sell other things. Like I showed you, the, uh, they also sell uh, vintage Levi's and Lee's too. So it's something that's worth looking into or at least browsing because that's part half the fun is just browsing of all the great stuff they have. Uh, check them out. Highly recommend them. Uh, if you like this sort of content, please subscribe, like, comment. Uh, if you're thinking about getting a jacket or if you're thinking of maybe a different type of jacket, ask me because maybe, maybe I know I know a little bit about jackets. So uh, maybe I could like at least stare you into a place. Maybe you can find a jacket that you're looking for in your area. Uh, although most of the jacket manufacturers that are out there, uh, you can order internationally and they'll ship them to you. Or you could even find uh, a local uh, store that sells them uh, because they do have stock lists all over the world. Not just Arrow, but every major manufacturer of custom jackets like this, workwear type jackets. So uh, I will see you on the next Derek Does.